Hi and welcome back to my channel. I was reached out to by the company Arteza and they asked me if I would be interested in reviewing some of their products. I was curious to try out their watercolors so they have sent me a package with products and amongst them was this tin of 36 watercolor pens in their premium line. So I expect them to react as student grade watercolors. So they come in a big and sturdy metal tin which has 4 mixing wells in the lid and then another 8 wells on a fold out lid. And then it also has a color chart showing you all the colors and the names and numbers for each color. Taking a closer look at the paints and if you wish you can also add in 12 more pans and when the paints are out you even have more mixing wells if you would need those. Now Arteza also has something for you guys as they offer you all a 10% off coupon which is valid until the 20th of August so check out the description box. I want to rearrange my colors but first I'm writing the names and numbers on my pens as they aren't labeled and I do want to be able afterwards to know which pen is which color. And then I just rearrange them at sight. Before putting them back in the tin I'm going to make my color charts so I know if I have arranged them in a good order. And then these color charts will also give me a good feel of the paints. I'll know how easily they get activated, how transparent they are, how staining they are and so on. And again I get the same feeling as when I reviewed another set of paints that was made in the crafting industry. The colors reactivate very easily but when adding a lot of water it feels completely different to my professional watercolors. So my color charts are all done and the colors are very vibrant and there are some colors that have got my attention. But there are also some colors looking very much the same, especially in the brown colors. I always make my color charts on the same paper and that is my Canson Montval paper. And the paints weren't always cooperative to blend out in a smooth way. So I decided to give them a second try side by side on some Canson Montval and then the Arteza Expert paper of which I'm using the front side. And I'm going to try to be as fair as possible in the amount of water and the amount of paint that I use. This time the paints have been activated with water at the start and you can see they already do much better on the Canson paper this time but there still are some streaks where you can have a much better result on the Arteza paper. Even though I never had any issue with my Canson Montval paper and professional paints. The Arteza paper seems to do better when using the Arteza paints.
Now I think it's time to have a play with them using my favorite techniques and I've chosen the Ardeza paper and the colors Lavender and Oxford Blue. First step is making a background where I notice that my paper is sucking up my color faster than my constant paper. I want some circles, so I took out a watercolor pencil by Arteza and I have a review on these if you want to, so just check out the link in the description box below or at the end of the video. Now the drawn circle will just blend in once I start coloring, as it is a watercolor pencil. I want my biggest circle to stand out some more, so I gave it a fine black line and I'll be adding some shadow using a charcoal pencil. My tiny focal image is a couple of wings on which I'm adding some silver metal foil and then all I need to do is sew it on. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell so you get a notification when a new video goes live. If you have any question, just leave me a comment. See you next time!